when you're a child. And even to this day, the curiosity of being a kid, of being an actor, I think that's what makes people so interesting and good when they're adult actors. I always was curious about people's stories. Where do they come from? Where, even with animals too, I remember like I would just make up a conversation about, oh, you know, do do do, this is, you know, I'm out for my daily walk, la la la, and like making up a story about this dog's day. Or making up a story about your grandma when you're younger. But then as, it, as you evolve and you become an adult, I still have those moments. Like when you're sitting on the subway and you see somebody that, you know, has a different physical body that's sitting there like this and you're just like, what happened to that person today? What are the events that led them to get here? I just think it's fascinating. Stories are everywhere. I mean, whether we decide to make them up or if it is actual stories written that are part of our history. When I was younger, I would second guess myself a lot more, which there still is an element of that, of course. I think that most actors are like that. Most musicians, most artists, period. You're like, is this good enough? Am I good enough? and you have to start really trusting yourself and your instrument and your instincts. I'm such a perfectionist, but there is beauty in the imperfection. And that's why people are drawn to actors. That's why people are drawn to stories because tragedy is also beautiful. I have developed more trust in myself because of finally listening to people around me and just taking it in and owning what I know and also listening to myself. When you start to not trust yourself, it doesn't do anybody any good. It really doesn't. Because you wanna come into a artistic process or anything, any relationship, trusting yourself, first and foremost. Life is too short to not trust yourself. Just put it out there and see what comes of it. And if nothing comes of it, then fine, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. Allow yourself to be open. Allow yourself to push boundaries and be creative. I mean, definitely do what you love. <laughs> because again, life is too short to waste time doing something that you don't want to do. And to be, surround yourself with beautiful art, whether that's film, music, just keep, pushing forward in the things that you love to do while trusting yourself, while listening to yourself. Listen to the people that you trust and live life passionately.